Welcome back to Mountain Connections. Right now we are speaking with Mark Miller Subaru. Jeff Miller is the general manager there. And Mark Miller Subaru is going above and beyond to keep their customers safe during this tough time. Jeff, thanks for joining us today. Thanks for having me on. So recently, uh, Mark Miller yeah. passed the torch to you. Congratulations, how does that feel? Is it exciting, a little intimidating? Where are you at with handling this? It feels great. I mean, it feels great to take over. My dad spent a long time building this thing up and building it to what it is. And for me to take over, it's an honor to continue his legacy. And this is the fourth generation in the Miller family of continuing keeping businesses within the family since the 1900s. So what a legacy. Yeah, so let's start with my great, my great uncle back in the 30s as the original Ford distributor in the state of Utah. So we've, we've come a long way over the last 90 years to be where we are now. And you started on May 1st officially as the general manager. What are some goals that you have as you look towards the future of leading Mark Miller Subaru? I think really continuing how we've run it for the last decade. I've been running the store since 2009, so really continuing what we've been doing, being a part of the community, giving back, being more than just a car dealer. Like there, we have a responsibility in our community and we're gonna continue what we've been doing. And you started at seven years old in the car business. Is that correct? Yeah, it's a funny story. So when I was about seven, my dad would drive by the lot to check on things or to close up. And part of closing up a car dealership lot is you have to lock all the car doors. So what we would do is he'd send us out and he'd pay us, I think it was a nickel a piece or something like that, for every car door we handle we pulled to see if it was locked. <laughs> and so that's kind of how we get our allowance. I love that. It's so nice to hear that you've been in the business for so long and that Mark Miller Subaru is going to continue providing the great service and supporting the community. And speaking of that support through nonprofits and other community organizations, why is that such a priority for Mark Miller Subaru? So we've always looked at the, we have a responsibility to take care of our community and take care of the people around us. So without this community, without these incredible communities around us, whether it's Park City, Salt Lake, anywhere, we wouldn't be in business and we wouldn't be able to support our families. So we have a responsibility to keep that community strong. And so we're going to continue to do that. And so we try and partner every year with six Love Promise partners that we call them and work with them to try and not only get them volunteers and money, but try and bring their name up so more people know all the great things that they do. And it was your idea to have Mark Miller Subaru be a B Corp. Explain that and tell me why you decided to do that. So what a B Corp is, it's kind of, Put, putting your business where what your actual ideals are. So a regular corporation, the goal of any corporation is return on shareholder value and making money. What, what a B Corp says is that that's not our only goal. Our goal is to take care of the planet, to take care of people, to support nonprofits, to be a good corporate citizen, not just make money. So when we make our decisions, very rarely are our decisions made about, is this gonna make us money? It's, is this good for our employees? Is this good for the community? Is this good for our customers? And if we make those kind of decisions, the money part takes care of itself. And Mark Miller Subaru has raised over $2 million in the last decade. What are some nonprofits that you're helping right now? So right now, we have six partners right now that we're really focusing on and going, going deep with. So Nuzzles & Co., which is Dog Rescue up in Park City, Wasatch Community Gardens, Spy Hop, uh, The Sharing Place in Salt Lake, Fit to Recovery, and uh, Malinois Foundation is the other one that we're really focusing on right now. You know, so many people do need help right now, and there's many nonprofits within Utah, within Park City, there's quite a few. How do you decide at Mark Miller Subaru which nonprofits you want to help? And it's so nice that you can help so many. Yeah, so every so if we came from back before, what we would end up doing is we'd end up trying to give to 10 or 20 nonprofits every year, and it was just a little bit, and we couldn't really focus. And so really when we started focusing on five or six every year, allow us to really get deep. And what we do is we do a full grant process in the fall where I think we had 70 or 80 nonprofits apply last year. And then we whittle it down to six in each of the different categories and it allows us to really go deep with those organizations and really have an effect and show what our money and what our people and our time can do. I know those funds are greatly appreciated. Now, before I let you go, I'm curious to hear more about how Mark Miller Subaru has been able to shift gears and really help keep their customers safe during this scary time. So, so one nice thing that is about two years ago, we started doing pickup drop-off. So, what, and so it really prepared us for what's going on now in which we are doing for all any customer, 
inside uh, 25 miles of the store, we will do free pickup drop off for any service. So we'll send someone out, pick up your car, bring it to us, service it, and bring it back all free of charge. For our, app, for our customers, our existing customers, we'll actually extend that out to 40 miles. So we can get all the way up to Park City, Heber, up into those areas and service those cars where people may not feel comfortable coming into the store. And they sanitize, clean them. We're very careful. Everyone's in masks and gloves doing it. And really provides the ability to get your car serviced without having to go out in the world. Well, thank you so much, Jeff Miller, for joining us today from Mark Miller Subaru. We appreciate you taking the time to connect with us. It's been fun to hear more about the history and great to hear how you are supporting nonprofits and keeping customers safe. So thanks for joining us this morning. Thank you for having me. I appreciate it. Head to markmillersubaru.com online for more information. Thanks again to Jeff Miller for joining us today. We'll be back with more right after this.